The next day was a full day of competition. And this is when, as you mentioned before, there were, there were some issues. Friday morning, we show up and everything went wrong. Uh, we were missing batteries. We were missing parts to the controller. We were missing all of the things that we actually needed for the robot to operate. It was, it was not going to do anything. <laughs> I decided that the best thing to do, I left my mom as the, the team chaperone, and so my dad and I drove back to the Airbnb to try to find it, and we looked, we looked everywhere. We, we lifted everything up, we looked all over, we couldn't find any of this stuff. Nowhere uh, next to where the robot was sitting, where the students had left it, where they had been working, I mean, I looked, looked everywhere. I ended up looking in the one bag that was clearly could have been where this stuff was because it was nowhere else. And I just, all I have to do is open it up this much and see batteries, missing controller. It was all in this bag. And I remembered back to what it was. There were things my dad had told me to do as a teenager and I know I, I didn't do them, right. right? And it's, you have to have those lessons where everything goes wrong and you have no one else to blame but yourself to realize, okay, we need a better way. Well, it's gonna, and it's gonna happen again and again, yep. you know? Yep. I mean, when I came up here for this interview, I told you, I said, there's some, I know I've forgotten something. I yep. have no idea what it is yet, but I, from experience, I can tell you, I'm not prepared. <laughs> so well, and it turned out it was just my coffee. But. Sure. Well, I mean, the, the reality is that I got back and the students immediately said, we need a checklist so that uh, this sort of thing doesn't happen again. It was exactly the sort of lesson that, that I, I am glad the students got to have. Yeah. And the other really interesting thing that happened over the course of the entire weekend is we were the first team from Vietnam to attend VEX Worlds. And as part of the opening ceremonies, the students got to march out uh, in, in Freedom Hall um, where Muhammad Ali fought years ago and walk out on the floor in front of um, a few thousand people carrying the Vietnamese flag. I saw that. Yeah? Yeah. And, and, and when we... Roll uh, that clip. <laughs> the way this works, the finals, they try to make it as exciting and sparkly and with as much fanfare as they possibly can, yeah. just with the lights going all over the place and lasers and animations yeah. and, and master of ceremonies and all of this. The uh, award winners for the technology division, which was our division, go up on the screen and there on the screen is our team number. 76209G mm. um, is a winner of the Inspire Award and we all are looking like, do you s Right. Is that is that uh, six, two, we, zero, didn't, we, we, we didn't hear anything <laughs> about this, and right. so I like I ran out. The person who was actually announcing the entire Vex World uh, event, the guy on the floor, I asked him, like, w w "I guess we won an award. What do we do?" And sure enough, waiting for us back at our our technology division area was this award with a description and our team number clearly written on it. I'm sure and, people uh, can't see this. The 2018. VEX World Robotics Championship Inspire Award. The Inspire Award is an award that's given uh, to recognize teams that kind of have a very clear vision. They're not, they're not the best teams technically, uh, but they, they really have a good vision for what they want to do. The way I look at it from the rest of the description is it's, it's an award that, that really says you're doing the right thing and we want to recognize the fact that, that we think you're going to do even better things, even greater things moving forward with the program. This robot is a, is a vehicle for uh, students to explore their interests in engineering and make connections to people like them uh, on the other side of the world. And that's, that's incredible. Yeah, that's what I, I mean, that's why I wanted to do this. And it's what I love about this story because it's, it's totally like a human interest mm -hmm. story. The whole, th I mean, it's about the humanity of this trip. Sure. It's a robot story, sure. But you know, we're talking about the decision to stay in an Airbnb. Your cousin taking care of one of the six students. Mm -hmm. You and your dad going back and getting the missing equipment. None of this would have worked. You know, we all have these science fiction nightmares about about robots taking over. Yes. None of this would have worked 
without this human interaction between right. you, um, among you and your students and your family and students from all over the world. That's right. Yeah. That's, that's just so great. Uh, I'm really excited that we're, we're going down that path here at, at Saigon South. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to be uh, right there trying to push the program um, as best as I can so that we can bring this to more students. Right, in the meantime, got this shiny, yep. shiny robotics trophy. <laughs> this is made of VEX parts. And one of the first things the student a students asked after we got this was, can we take this apart and use it on next year's robot? And th the answer was absolutely not. <laughs> because I mean, number one, it wouldn't be legal, but number two, we're, we're holding on to this. We're using this kind of as the, the, the seed that grows this, this team to be um, even better. Uh, and better as we as we grow. It's a great question, though. <laughs> Evan, thank you so cool. much. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Oh, oh pleasure. See, that's how that's how you lose things. <laughs> it's okay. This okay. has been awesome. Thanks a lot. Really, thank you. Thanks a lot, Jeff. I can't wait to put this together because I think <laughs> it's going to be a great story for everybody.